How's it going Troops? Storm here back again with another Titanfall video and uh, it's been quite some time since I last put a video up, it's been at least a, a week or two uh, since I had a uh, video up on my channel. A couple of weeks ago I went away for a week with my family to Devon which is basically uh, just north of Cornwall so it's pretty much the southwest or at least the south southwest if you want to be a bit more accurate uh, of England uh, and I was there for a week and at the time I was away we did have the first teaser trailer for Titanfall 2. Now, I wasn't expecting a Titanfall 2 teaser trailer whatsoever. I was still waiting on the Battlefield 5 teaser trailer, obviously at the time of this recording. We've still not received that, but uh, it was on the Monday when the Titanfall 2 teaser trailer dropped on us and my mind just completely exploded like, holy shit. You know, Titanfall 2, is, it's, it's, it's gonna be coming soon. Uh, it was, you know, it was amazing. And uh, with this teaser trailer, we got a lot of information from it. And uh, that's one of the things I really love about teaser trailers. You can pull a piece of information and, and then you can kind of make your own assumptions as to what it can mean. Uh, but uh, anyway, we're going to be running through the teaser trailer, which is going on in the background. But I just wanted to point out why I am very late with this video and I didn't put it up a couple of weeks ago. Uh, not to mention the fact that the last four or five days or so, uh, my internet's been down because BT are dicks. So I can only apologise that I didn't get this video out sooner than now. But anyway, let's get on with the teaser trailer. So as soon as the trailer starts, we can hear that clear South African voice of Blisk from the first Timefall game. So it does seem that Blisk is still alive and well in Timefall 2. And he goes on to mention about heroes and how, you know, people always like to try and be the hero. And, you know, if I were you, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't try to be so much of a hero because you'll live longer. And this is all in reference to the plot of the first Timefall game because even though the multiplayer campaign wasn't really that great and it just wasn't that much, uh, we did get some information on the whole uh, cutscene bits and the, you know, the character development and there was some sort of plot there and that's what this reference is because of one of the characters who was an executive officer at the IMC and basically this character went rogue and decided to help the militia to fight back against the IMC's ruling. And on the very last mission of the Titanfall campaign, it was reported that this character was dead due to the eruption and explosion of Demeter. Moving on to the visual side of the trailer, we can see that the camera pans forward through some sort of jungle-like environment. And the first thing that you really notice when you start to see the teaser trailer is how much the graphics have improved from the first Titanfall into Titanfall 2, because the first Titanfall it was more of a gritty kind of uh, feel, it, you know, it definitely looked very gritty and, uh, you know, whilst it had that current gen look to it, it still kind of remained as if it was on last gen. Uh, but we can see very clearly that the graphics have definitely improved and that they are less gritty and more very much realistic. And that's pretty much to be expected considering that this game is only going to be on PS4, Xbox One and PC and it's not going to be available on last gen. Now after we see a lizard-like creature move along across a log, we get a better look at the main scene that this trailer was supposed to be showing us, and that is this crashed drop pod. Now you're probably thinking, oh it's just a drop pod, why would this be anything important? Well, to be honest, I didn't think it was going to be anything that important until I saw what was on it. Now on this drop pod, you can see the name on the left hand side of the front face, you can see the name James McCallan. Now, the character that I mentioned earlier, who basically took mutiny and said, right, I'm helping the militia forces, you know, fight off against the IMC, uh, this character was actually James McCallan, and unfortunately it was reported that he did die in the massive blast on Demeter. However, though, it does seem that he somehow survived it and has crashed on a different planet. So, whilst Blisk thinks he's dead, it appears that James McCallan might still be alive. So this gets me very excited to see how the plot in Timefall 2's campaign is going to play out. Now whilst it is a jungle-like environment, there are some rocks around, some massive like cliffs, and also in the background we have what appears to be another planet or another moon that's with this planet that we're currently on. Uh, but the thing that everyone is very excited about and talking about is about this titan that moves through this jungle. So there is a small glimpse of one of the titan's legs 
I don't think it's one of the chassis that we've seen before in the first Titanfall. Uh, if you remember back in Titanfall, we had three uh, chassis of Titan. We had the Strider, we had the Atlas, and we had the Ogre. Uh, to me, this looks nothing like any of the three of them. So I'm guessing that this is a new chassis of Titan. Now, whilst the Titan looks very nice, it's what's in his hand that definitely catches my eye. And that is this massive sword. If you actually slow down the teaser trailer, you can get a glimpse of this sword, but what comes out of it is what's very uh, interesting, and that is, it appears to be some kind of electrical uh, staticness that comes out of a sword. So it's almost like an electrical sword, where maybe you can slam it to the ground and it shocks people nearby, or maybe you can hit another titan and it maybe, I don't know, disables it. I've, I've got no idea, that's pure speculation. But there is some sort of electricity that floats and goes around this sword, as the Titan lifts it up and slams it into the ground. And then finally, as soon as this scene is over with, we have what appears to be like drop pods that are like coming down through the atmosphere. And then we have the official Titanfall 2 logo fading in from black, and that's pretty much it. So I don't know about you guys, but this teaser trailer definitely got me hyped up for Titanfall 2. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are aware that I really enjoyed the first time fall. I know a lot of people, you know, make jokes about, oh, look, there's only, you know, a couple of guns you can use, or, you know, there's only, like, one chassis that they've used, and people saying, uh, oh, you know, I can play this for three weeks, and then that's it, everyone will forget it. Uh, you know, I see these jokes all on, you know, the internet, on social media, YouTube, etc. But I really enjoyed the first time fall, despite it lacking content. To me, it felt like Call of Duty 4, but set in the future. That's what I got from Timefall. And I really enjoyed Timefall, despite, you know, the lacking content. I thought Timefall was a brilliant game, and not only that though, but it did set the foundations for what Respawn can build off it with their future Titanfall releases. If there's anything to go off with Respawn Entertainment, take a look at Call of Duty 4. Loads of people enjoyed it, and yes, you know, there was not much to the game, but it had great gameplay. Then look at the sequel to Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare 2. Everyone loved Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 set a whole new standard when it came to first-person shooters. So if there's anything to base Respawn off, base them off the transition between Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. Because I definitely get a, a massive feel that Titanfall 2 is going to have a lot of content with this game. I mean, it's, al it's already been confirmed there is a single player campaign coming. So there is going to be a lot more content to this game. And uh, I'm just, I'm just, I don't know about you guys, but I'm absolutely excited for this game. And it's just a shame we've got to wait over a month before we actually get to see the full gameplay reveal at EA Play on June 12th. But until then, we can only speculate and hope that Titanfall 2 will be a massive success to what Titanfall was. So troops, that wraps up today's Titanfall video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it despite me rambling on and being late on the news. But uh, if you did enjoy it anyway, then do give the video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it a lot. Let me know down in the comment section below whether you're excited for Titanfall 2 or not. I'll be interested to see the comments. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, then make sure to do so for more Titanfall content. And until next video, I thank you all for watching, stay tuned to the troops, and I'll see you in game.